Continuing to field questions for Yosemili, I have a student who's asking about the best way to study genetics for step one, uh, which bear in mind, we can break up genetics into holy shit, all the super fucking annoying, hardy Weinberg math related stuff. And then we have general genetics, just modes of inheritance, okay, inheritance patterns. Uh, just do you understand important conditions such as Duchenne, Marfan, cystic fibrosis, etc. Okay, so those are two aspects of genetics I will address. I have a very fucking excellent answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now I'll start the clip. So how do we study genetics? Uh, as, and as I said, there's all the super fucking annoying math related stuff, Hardy Weinberg, etc., and then just general genetics. And the answer is you're going to do my high yield genetics PDF, which I'm going to link in the uh, comments below. Okay. Best fucking genetics resource out there. And I could be a self aggrandizing asshole and kind of half joke and say, haha, of course it's because I made it, but it's, the best resource out there for genetics because it's not a waste of your fucking time. That's why, okay? Because you, if you go through the High Yield Genetics PDF, which it's 50 questions, it's a question formatted PDF similar to High Yield Arrows. If you go through High Yield Genetics, it's a very difficult PDF, but you're going to come out of it and being like, wow, my genetics sucked jack fucking shit. And now it's actually pretty good. I feel like pretty good with all the Hardy Weinberg stuff. And then you're going to go through the NBMEs and you're going to be like, okay, like I can answer these questions. No problem. That's the feedback I've received. And also just, I know that's the case because the PDF's very good. And then as far as all the non-math stuff, anything that's super high yield is in the PDF already. Okay. So inheritance patterns, like, you know, for heme, like hemophilia versus von Willebrand disease, G6PD deficiency. I mean, hereditary spherocytosis, Marfan syndrome, as I said, the phacomatoses, NF1, NF2, VHL, TSC. So, I mean, any high yield condition, I weaved its way into the PDF. So there's going to be a lot of info in that PDF. You're going to go through it, as I said. And then just general knowledge from how do we fill in the gaps that might be remaining? Just general knowledge from you going through QBank, you going through my other PDFs where I discuss other things in more detail, okay? Um, but the high yield genetics PDF is gonna help you capture the overwhelming majority of genetics. The genetics terms as well, the annoying things like variable expressivity, uh, incomplete penetrance, okay? Allelic heterogeneity, uh, heteroplasmy. So some of those annoying vocabulary terms, which I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the clip as far as that's a component, it is. Uh, but those are in the high yield PDF as well. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel and I appreciate your time. That's it.